we're going to take you through Inglewood, Florida. On the left is Beach Walk. We just passed. Everyone's talking about that. That's the hot new new, new community. Um, it's an HOA community, and it's got many different amenities. And it's really close to Minnesota Beach, which is a free parking beach. The other main beach in Inglewood, you do have to pay for parking. We'll link you to a video in the description if you want to see more about the beaches and like we take you there and show you everything about them. But there's a couple different HOA communities too. We're kind of like on the left and right on the outskirts right now of like the main area of Inglewood on the north end towards Venice. And for reference, we are on Inglewood Road, Highway 776. And as you can see, there's a few businesses that are kind of popping up on the left and right here. This end of Inglewood, it's kind of weird. It almost feels like it's the beginning of Inglewood, but yet there's really not a lot of businesses. Mm -hmm. Overbrook Gardens is a community over there on the right, an HOA community. And we're going to do a separate video kind of taking you to some more of the like areas and getting out of the car and showing you the some of the main neighborhoods and stuff. But in this one, we're just going to kind of... we've talked about Inglewood a lot and try to describe how it feels but we figured let's just drive you around and let you see some more of it in this one and then the other one but also we feel like they've been really misrepresented as far as like the shopping and restaurant availability like some people make it sound like there's nothing here and yes everything I've heard on videos it's Inglewood it's a sleepy town which it is in a way uh, but a lot of people say you know there is nothing to do no shopping no like there's only like one or two grocery stores which it's not the case by any means yeah we're gonna take you right here to a parking lot just real quick and then we'll get back on the road uh it's 11 bay basically a little strip all this is not a very good representation but there's a big lot a bay fit which is like a crossfit exercise place what do you call it a gym that's the word i'm looking for yeah pinch a penny a ups store so there's a little bit of stuff in here but I will say every time we drive through this parking lot, it's pretty much empty. So I don't know how long this is going to be here for. Yes, this it's a big area, but there isn't a lot. Like there aren't a lot of stores here. Um, like there are some empty buildings as well. But this is just the beginning. There is a lot more things in or more shopping in Englewood. Yeah. And this, I, yeah, this area, I'd say Inglewood in general, especially like Dearborn Street too, just you are going to see some empty, you know, Stores, storefronts yes. and things like that. It's And that kind of goes with that whole old Florida feel that we kind of talk about with Inglewood a lot. Um, and again, if you want to know more about Inglewood in general, like we've got a whole playlist. We'll uh, put it in the description down below where you can see a bunch of the other videos that kind of can give you a more well-rounded idea of what it looks like out of side what you're seeing here. Whispering Gardens on the left there we just turned away from. Or Whispering, Whispering Pines, Pines, I'm sorry. Another planned community. And to me, I don't know, like, one thing I like about Inglewood is it does have that quieter feel to it. And it almost, it's borderline country. Yes, um, here to, right in front of us actually, it's uh, another community, it's called Oak Grove, and those are mobile homes, which we talk a lot about mobile homes and manufactured homes on the channel. Some people don't like them, some people think it's maybe a rough area, but it's not. It's just that there we have so many retirees here that they want something that's not very difficult to upkeep. Yeah, and... Uh generally there are a lot of those are gonna be 55 plus too yes. so and some people that don't get like get a home along those lines not in a mobile home community a lot of times they just want something on the cheap uh, on the left is Boca Royale that is a higher HOA but very nice community lots of amenities they have like they have activity club, yes. yeah, activity coordinator like the whole nine yards and then here to the right you can see Alameda Isles which is another mobile home so we're getting into a trend here of a lot of mobile home communities on one side and um, then you have your HOA planned communities on the other. Which is very representative I think of a lot of like these Gulf Coast cities. Yes. You're going to see a lot of those more so on the outskirts of the city. And then in the downtown you're going to have more of your, you know, downtown with your little quaint shops and things like that. And then possibly some stuff by the beach which is one perk to Inglewood over Venice I'd say is 
outside of Sharkies and Fins, there's really nothing like right on the water. Whereas Inglewood Beach, right, ac it's across the street, but it's pretty much right on the water. You got a lot of restaurants, little shops, and things like that. So you kind of get two down downtowns too. Another community on our right, Pine Lake. On this end too, this is like the second or third of um, different little like plant. What do they call it? A botanical. Stuff, garden. garden store where you can buy plants and stuff or like garden oh, center type yeah. deal and there's another community on our left that we're going past gated so y your living experience in a city can be so different depending on what actually we should go to the right here what kind of neighborhood you choose if you choose an HOA if you choose a 55 plus if you choose something not in an HOA yeah, and I would say that's uh, pretty much in all of Florida is going to be very, very similar. Um, if you want, you know, to feel like you're part of a community where all homes are the same or very similar and not kept, then going maybe the safer. Yeah, and safer. Go going the HOA route would be the way to go. A lot of times too, I've heard comments of out of state buyers where they're like. They, they don't completely understand this um, Englewood or Venice for that matter and they're like okay like there are all these mobile homes and then there are like nice communities in between mobile homes like what's going on and that's just uh, the way things are here yeah <laughs> you can see we're starting to get a little bit more into Englewood kind of a little more shops restaurants things like that and I think one time one thing that kind of gets gives it the rap as not having a lot of shopping or restaurants it's just that a lot of it's more like local it's, it's not a lot of chain stuff which to me is I like I think that's yes. awesome because you're not going to get that restaurant anywhere else it's got it's a one-on-one -on -one experience you know what I mean it's kind of unique and adds to the the quaint vibe and and the old Florida feel like we got small mom and pop shops to take care of you we don't we don't need those big box stores which I mean I, I like that stuff too but it's diff, you know, it's a change of pace. Yes, and if you need big box stores, you take a short drive to either Venice or Northport or for Charlotte, and you'll have a lot of shopping there. Ooh, this place we went to up on the right, the pasty shop, pasty, I don't know how you say it, but those are really good. They're almost like um, pot pie type things, but they're in like a bread more type thing, and you dip it in gravy, and we've heard Cafe 7076 on the right there is good. We haven't been there, we need to get there. Maybe today should be that day. <laughs> Publix on the left, we just passed. That's like your main Florida chain, I guess you could say. You know, it's a, a, a local to Florida only, at least as far as I know. Yeah, and then we have a Walgreens here on the left as well. Burger King coming up on the left. And I think one reason sometimes people think also that maybe Inglewood doesn't have a lot of shopping is because they base it on just one end of Inglewood, what like the Sarasota County end or the Charlotte County end. We just passed Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts, Donuts and Baskin Robbins, which is important because you're going to need to get your ice cream in. It's got Red a lot of vitamins. Coffee. Yeah. Oh. Coffee for energy, ice cream for vitamins. So on the right, there's a, which pat, um, is a shopping center which there's a lot of empty buildings in so again kind of representative of the area and so, so some people when they see that they think oh my gosh this is a terrible city it's going nowhere but at the same time it's expanding yeah and then to the left here we have a, a sears which i don't know if that's open yeah that's probably not i don't open. know if sears is open anywhere <laughs> bells and a couple different different stores bells there. outlet bells outlet which yes. is yeah. A little bit more, a, a little less expensive than the regular bells. Yeah, reminds me more of like kind of like a TJ Maxx, but bigger and more spaced out, and the aisles aren't so crammed. Yes. We really like bells, actually. It took us a long time to finally go there, and then when we did, we're like, wow, I think I like this in most other stores. Not for, for me. that TJ kind of stuff. TJ Maxx and Marshalls are my go-to. So still take the W. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I believe those are on the more south end of Inglewood. Both of those. I'm not positive we have both here. Well, I don't think there see. are some Marshalls. I'm not sure about TJ Maxx. Okay. Okay. Back on the road. Hades phone overheated. So <laughs> when the sun keeps shining on. Anyways, there's a little Texas best. Well, Texas best barbecue on the left supposedly is like one of the best barbecue places around, like between here and Venice and the whole area. We got to get there. 
Okay, anyways. You can see this little marina, like, boat storage thingy on the right. And coming up pretty soon, actually, you'll see a McDonald's on the right. And if you take that right, that'll take you to Inglewood Beach. Uh, I think we're, like, another half mile, mile from that. As you can see, left and right, a lot of mom and pop shops. And the thing I kind of like about this too is there's a lot of like behind all the stores, like just little neighborhoods with houses. So you could live in one of those and you know, get a house there and be able to walk to a few businesses maybe. Or a golf cart, use your golf cart. Yeah. <laughs> to me, that was like always like when before we moved to Florida, kind of what I pictured. Yeah. You know, like we would get a house and you could just walk, you know, it's always sunny, it's always nice and you could walk a lot of places. And we found out that wasn't really the case, especially when you live like in a gated community or something, like you're not really going to get that opportunity in a lot of them. Yeah, so here's the McDonald's and then if you take a right here, that's Beach Road, which takes you to the main Englewood Beach, as well as those restaurants that we mentioned, Lock and Key is one of them, the Waverly, White Elephant. There's a couple more. Yeah, we're not sure off the top <laughs> of our head. Uh, there's a cool little beach shop too that has like um, beach type clothes, sandals, um, really good gourmet popsicles that have like, they're basically made with fruit and a little sugar added and that's it. They're uh, out of, I think St. Pete. I don't know. That's I where we first had yeah, them. Yeah, at least that's where we first had them. Okay. So here's the McDonald's. Very important. I think, uh, I want to say there's two maybe McDonald's in Inglewood. I don't know. I, was, I like to reference how many McDonald's are in our city to give you an idea of the size of it. Because like if a city's got a decent population, McDonald's is like probably the first fast food chain to come in. And if there's room to have another, they're going to be the first chain to have a second location. Usually. So now once we start getting onto this half, you're going to see a lot more of the businesses. To me, this end feels a little more almost like Port Charlotte. Yeah. And it feels like there's a lot more going on. Yeah, definitely. A lot more businesses. Business-wise and even housing. Yeah, your Walmart's going to be over on this end. And we're now in the Charlotte County end of Englewood because, like we mentioned earlier, it's kind of split. Again, a lot of lot mom and pop shops on the left and right yet. We have a Publix here to the right. Verizon, bells, an actual Bells. bells. Yep. On the left, there's a whole bunch of more mom and pop type shops. Hungry Howie's, which is a chain that I don't know. The first, whenever we make the drive down from Wisconsin, the first one I see is in Indiana. So I don't know how far south they stretch. Taco Bell, Wells Fargo, Denny's, Ford, Dollar Tree, Pet Supermarket, Winn Dixie, which is, I, I don't know where that chain all spreads to, but we've only seen them in Florida. Decent grocery store. Marco's Pizza. Mm, they have very good pizza. They do. And coming up here, I think it's on the left, is it, or is it the right? Yeah, I think it's the left, left is uh, Farlow's. Farlow's on the water. They have good food. It's on like a river, yeah, so you got some water views. Different food. Yeah, they got a little bit of a tropical. Well, they, they're trying to make it a tropical twist, but it doesn't taste all that tropical. It's still it's, like playing it safe. It, so if you're someone who likes to play it safe with your food, going there would be a good idea. Yeah. It's like, it's... American with a hint of tropical. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but it's good. It is good food. But it's not, I was excited when I saw some of the stuff on the menu and then I ordered it and it, like it wasn't bad. It just wasn't as like, oh, I, like one thing had like kiwi sauce or kiwi on it or something and I couldn't really hardly taste the kiwi. Yeah. So here you can see there is a lot more houses um, along 776, which actually this now turns into South McCall Road. Yeah, Inglewood's weird because of that. <laughs> yeah, but it's the same. We haven't made a turn or anything. Another Dunkin' Donuts. Actually, I think Dunkin' might outright McDonald's, at least yeah, in Florida, especially on, Florida. I think we get a lot of people from the East Coast coming down. There's uh, ice cream shops and stuff that we just passed on the right too. Again, more lo local mom and pop, Advanced Auto Parts, Tires Plus, Motel 6, Auto Zone coming up on the left. Motel 6. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta know. Ooh, there's a Takiera there. Another mom and pop place. AutoZone. Um, also, th there's like other like more like mom and pop type stuff on Dearborn Street and again by the beach by Inglewood Wart Road, which the, we'll link in the description videos for those as well as the playlist all life in Inglewood, Florida, so you can see a lot more in, in general. 
On the left is another little strip outlet that's pretty much all mom and pop type stuff. On the right, Walmart. You can get every, oh, a Papa John's on the left. Another Burger King. They're all doing McDonald's. Walgreens as well on the left here. Fitness place on the left. And to the left also there is Lemon Bay Isles, which is again another um, mobile home community. There's an event center here on the right. I don't know what they all have in there really, honestly. Events? Probably. Perhaps. What kinds of events? And we're kind of getting to the end here, basically, where there's not a whole lot more. Yeah, so this will be very close to Englewood East. Oh, actually, this is Englewood East. <laughs> yeah, we officially hit the we threshold. Officially, yes. Which is in between almost Port Charlotte and Englewood City. So this is Englewood East. And you, we go through a little strip here where it almost seems like you're leaving the city. But then you'll see coming up here, there is a, a few more like shops on the left and right. Mostly mom and pop type stuff. Uh, Habitat for Humanity here on the right. A plaza there on the left, I can't really see what's in it. <laughs> <laughs> on the left coming up here, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see if I can get a little closer so we can read you some of it. Domino's, batteries to go. Zarate's Restaurant. Quick Signs. Appliance Center. Guitar Repairs. It's mostly mom pop stuff. More stuff on the right. Sewing. Residential Drafting. Porter. Is that, is that a place that has only Porter beers? To the right and left, really, we have more houses. And it's on this end of Inglewood, and we'll get out of the car in a different video and show you a little more, but you can get a lot more kind of like newer construction type stuff for a pretty good price. Yes. It does put you a little further from the beach because basically, we, so we passed Inglewood, the turn for Inglewood Beach by that McDonald's that we mentioned earlier. Once you get basically anywhere south of that, you're just going to keep getting further and further to the beach from the beach because that's kind of the last one for miles until you get down to, man, I don't even know where. They don't have one in Punta Gorda, they don't have one in Port Charlotte, they don't have one in Cape Coral. So you're basically looking at getting down to Fort Myers again. Yeah, but even though you're farther from uh, the main Englewood Beach, you're still within 15 minutes, if that, to right. the beach. Um, yeah, I've yeah. seen some new construction homes even as close as like 10 minutes. Yeah, so it's, it's not like it's terrible by any means. Yeah. Minutes. And even then, 15 minutes, it's not too bad of a drive when mm -hmm. you go to the beach. Uh, there is a Winn-Dixie here on the left. Yep, pretty new one. Yes. And w the other thing with the beaches too in, in Inglewood, just like it, if you're closer to that McDonald's or further north, the one benefit I think you get out of that is then you kind of get the options of being closer to different beaches. Big, so you yeah. have more options that are really near. Or but, bigger cities if you want to go shopping or doing something else. Yeah, but it's definitely not un undoable for a day to get to any of the beaches in Inglewood or even Venice for that matter on this end. There's a Dollar General on the left, a more lawn mowing place, a restaurant on the right, Nicola's. And I think we're starting to uh, get to the end here basically of where there's any restaurants and things like that. If you want to see more of the neighborhoods, make sure you check out the video that's popping up on the screen right now. And if you're looking to move to the area, call, text, or email me. I am a local realtor here. My information will be in the description box below. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment with any questions, and we'll get to it in a future video. And live, live breezy. breezy.